Welcome back to the Move Me Kitchen. I'm Luca. And I'm Natasha. Tonight we're cooking a very simple uh, pasta and pasta sauce. So, if you've ever watched the Godfather movies, so there's a scene where one of um, Michael's uh, family members, he says, um, Michael, I'm not going to show you how to make a pasta. Because one day, you might have to cook for 20 or 30 men. <laughs> So anyway, uh, my background is half Italian and so that's why I'm cooking the sauce tonight <laughs> because it's something I've been cooking for a long time. We've got our ingredients laid out for our pasta sauce. Um, in terms of the, the pasta we'll be using, we might start with, this is our uh, favourite, we've shown this one before. It's the organic corn and rice pasta from Italy. Um, wonderful stuff this is. So we're using two 500 gram packs, that's so a kilo of pasta between us. Um, again, we like very high carbohydrate dinner to give us plenty of energy for our activities the following day. Uh, pasta sauce. Now, you could just use this. This is the one that we uh, have again shown before. It's our favourite. It's um, an organic uh, low sodium tomato sauce. Uh, again, the tomatoes are from Italy. Um, this is really good on its own. However, we can improve it, and we're going to improve it by adding um, some other tasty ingredients. So we've got uh, some spring onion here, we've got some red onion, we're going to uh, put some carrot in there for a little bit of added sweetness, we've got some uh, flat brown mushrooms, which uh, add a bit of body to the sauce, and Voila, our secret <laughs> ingredient that we had alluded to, or that Natasha had alluded to in a previous video, uh, is sun-dried tomatoes. Not uh, a secret anymore. Not a secret anymore. <laughs> it's out. Uh, we have to give credit to a wonderful chef that we worked with at, at a yoga retreat in Spain, uh, who put us onto this. This was her secret ingredient, and it's now ours as well. And what sun-dried tomatoes do, are add some concentrated flavour to your cooking. So they're wonderful to add to anything that you really, uh, that you don't mind a little tomato uh, taste in or that has a tomato base uh, and this will really uh, add some concentrated flavour to your meal. Uh, these actually um, have been sun-dried or uh, with a little bit of uh, sea salt. So there's a, a little bit of sodium in the tomatoes themselves, which is why it's important if you're going to use them, if you're going to use them in conjunction with the tomato sauce, to make sure this one's low sodium, so that you can keep your overall meal low sodium. Why do we go? Uh, why do we harp on about low sodium? Well, we're using the word sodium instead of salt, because um, when people say uh, you need to keep your salt intake low, what they really mean is you need to keep your sodium intake low. Um, high sodium can lead to high blood pressure and also sodium uh, retains fluid in the body so um, in order to buffer the, the sodium the, the body retains fluid so you, you don't want any extra um, fluid around your body if you're looking to be uh, your best, looking to look your best. To look lean. To look lean is essentially what I'm saying. Mm. So uh, what else have we got here? We've got um, some uh, organic sweet paprika, again to add a little extra flavour to our sauce. We've got some uh, organic herbs and spices, 24 lovely organic herbs and spices in there. We've got some uh, raw organic olives from Peru. We've got, actually these are from Natasha's grandmother, these are mm. some dried, uh, I think it's oregano. Oregano, correct. Yeah. And we've also got some uh, cayenne pepper. Uh, just for a little kick to the sauce. And here's some um, beautiful uh, Genovese Italian basil from our, from our backyard, actually. So we've got our sauce started here. I started with some the spring onion and the red onion, just uh, steam frying it in some water. And then I added some mushrooms and a grated carrot. So we've got our sun-dried tomatoes, our secret ingredient, and we're, what, we, what we did is we put about five uh, in a tall jug like this, and then we added some boiling water from the kettle just to cover the top of the sun-dried tomatoes, 
and that's going to soften them and enable us to blend them. We'll just leave that to thicken up a little and let the concentrated flavours of that tomato paste soak into the vegetables. <laughs> so, adding some coconut sugar. Got a te teaspoon. Some sweet paprika. Got a teaspoon. One sprinkle, two sprinkle, three, and maybe four to pick sauce. Dried oregano. So, you want to crush that a little bit, that releases the flavour. So the pasta's done. Okay, and a little tip. To get rid of that excess starch, which is still coating the pasta, is to pre-boil some water, which I have done over here in the kettle, and just run some boiling water over the pasta when it's sitting in the strainer. I'll get rid of any of the excess starch. Sauce is over here. Let's have a look how that's doing. It's been simmering away as the pasta's mm. been boiling. Looking good, looking good. Smelling good. Oh, actually, final little bit, which can always, should always be added towards the end of the sauce. Uh, the olives, if you're going to use them, they're chopped up. The reason you put them towards the end is because you don't want them to become too mushy and you want them to be nice and plump. And juicy. I forgot to mention I've already had my litre of water while I was cooking dinner so um, my digestive enzymes have been bathed and I've waited about uh, I finished that about 20 minutes ago so I'm ready to eat I won't get dehydrated during the meal and I won't need to drink after the meal uh, nothing goes to waste again this sauce bottle we're gonna rinse it out and it can become a water bottle or a smoothie bottle uh, Let's just pop some of our fresh basil on top. Sure. Finish these dishes off. Mmm, smells divine. And of course, to further enhance the flavours, just break your herbs and apply. And there we go. Easy. Quick meal, high carbohydrate, low fat, gluten free, low sodium, full of delicious energy. Good for your body, good for the planet, and good for the animals. So, part two to tonight's pasta sauce recipe. What we've made is more of a Napolitana sauce. But if you're looking for more of a bolognese sauce, but of course you want to make it vegan without the meat, well, we've got a tip for you. You can use red quinoa. Come and have a look at this. Okay, so if you don't know what quinoa is, this is what it looks like. It comes in three different colors. This is the red variety, but you can also get it in the white variety or the black variety. Red uh, tends to work best, we find, um, but try it with the white and the black and let us know what you think. So we're just going to uh, show you how to cook the quinoa. What the quinoa does, first and foremost, is it replicates that sort of chewy texture of bolognese. Okay. So to uh, how much you use, it's completely up to you whether you're cooking for one or for two or more, um, and also how sort of chewy you actually want the sauce. So what we're doing is we're going to uh, use half a cup of quinoa between two people and we find that works well for us. Any more, it's a little too heavy, but it's a preferential thing. So, the ratios of uh, quinoa to water. Now, that varies a little bit. Um, if you've soaked the quinoa, which we used to do, we find we don't have so much time to do it anymore, uh, but if you've soaked the quinoa, obviously it's going to absorb some water, and so you need to use less water. And I find quinoa that has then been soaked, 
needs about one cup of water. But if you don't soak your quinoa, you're going to need more than one cup of water to one cup of quinoa. Um, as much as one and a half, one and three quarters, really depends on how much water evaporates during the cooking process. So tonight with our half cup of quinoa, I've got about just under a, a cup of water or just over three quarters of a cup. I think that's going to be right, but I will monitor it uh, as we go along. It's quite easy to adjust. So I've measured that out. I also measured the quinoa out. There's exactly half a cup there. Just going to add the water to the quinoa. Turn on the stove. And I'm going to bring that to boil. So I checked on the quinoa and as it turned out, it needed a little bit more water. Have a look at our quinoa here. You can see that it's really um, nearing done because the little white tails start to appear. And the water is almost fully absorbed and you can see the, the quinoa is a lot softer than it was at the beginning. So I've just stirred that a few times throughout the last, it takes, quinoa takes I find around 20 minutes give or take, generally no longer than that. Um, we used to eat it in abundance in Ecuador. Quinoa is actually a grain-like seed uh, and it is from South America. Uh, the Incan Empire used it and in actual fact apparently the Incan Empire was more or less built on quinoa. Um, it's got a great uh, amino acid profile. Um, all the essential amino acids can be found in quinoa and it's very versatile. It can be used uh, as we're using tonight um, but it can also be used in soups, in salads, it's great with vegetables. So you can sort of use it like rice in many respects and really really yummy and actually the uh, three different coloured varieties have different flavours. So you can put them all together, uh, you can find out which one you like. Um, and yeah, we highly recommend it. We ate it in abundance in uh, South America when it was of course a lot cheaper than it is here in Australia. So we use it more sparingly here. But uh, kudos to Kimwa, it's a great, great addition to your vegan diet. So while I've been talking away, the rest of the water is absorbed. So I'm actually going to Turn that off now. I'm going to pop the lid on. I'm going to take it off the heat. And I'm just going to let any remaining water in there fully absorb into the quinoa. So our quinoa is ready. And we're just going to add it to the sauce, which is exactly the same as it was in part one of this video, just the Napolitana. Actually, before you put that in, that's okay. Let's take a look. It actually looks like. They're tiny, aren't they? They sure are. And the little white sprouts. Tiny grain like seeds. Okay, let's pop that in. And the more quinoa you put into the sauce, the thicker the sauce is going to be. And we have to admit, this is not our original recipe, is it? No, we must credit this to a friend of ours who actually credits it to her mum. So, yeah. Just stir it through. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm very excited. Now, look at that. That looks like, to mm. me, vegan bolognese sauce you can't really see how good it is on camera i mean wow there's almost no difference to the eye in fact if you want to prepare this for someone and not tell them that you've used quinoa instead of actual you know meat mi meat i bet you they won't even tell the difference yeah. Yeah. so if you enjoyed this video please give the thumbs up um, post your comments and questions below we love to hear from you uh, if you'd like to see more videos please support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and if you'd like regular updates for what we're doing you can also subscribe to our website at moveme.yoga.com.au it's been a pleasure as always having you in our kitchen and hope you try out this recipe 